testing. Hello, what's up, Art of Origami? Let me know if the audio is okay. Trying out a new chat system. Um, to see if this works. Because basically I have, I think this will monitor both chats at the same time. Not exactly sure how well this will work, but uh, we're gonna see. Thanks for sending the chat. All right, we can see Twitch as well. Very cool. What's up, Asian Dumplin? Let's make a new Twitch bookmarks. Streaming, we'll call it streaming. I have a question for you. Can you make a Samurai version three with 35 centimeter single tissue? Hey, uh, so you can, but it won't turn out. So. Uh, I'll show you what it'd kind of be like. Uh, let me change my scene really quick. I think we can get started. I, um, I'm going to post on Instagram really quick. But this is, I think this is 35 centimeters. So it's really small. I don't know if you can tell from my hand, right? Or like a computer mouse or uh, a phone. All right, it's really small. Um, and I can't get all the details. So you. Like, if you don't do the face, I think it'd be okay, or the helmet. Um, I, it's possible. It's also really hard, uh, so just be be careful. Like, it's a lot harder to do it from smaller paper than larger paper. But sing at least it's, it's possible. It's very possible. Hello, hello, Susan on YouTube. And let me try. What does this look like? That's from Restream. This is from Twitch. And okay, so I can control my chats from here. Let's see if this works too, maybe. Cool. What am I folding today? Uh, why don't you try typing in exclamation mark fold, uh, which is a bot command. And I th let's see if it, it works uh, <laughs> before I tell you. Uh, but try, try that out, try that out. Uh, let's try this as well. I don't know if this is enabled yet. Um, but by the title, we have a couple different things. But let me let me get this quickly on. Nice. There you go. It worked. All right. So let's get this on a Instagram story really quick, and then we'll we'll get folding because I'm not going to be streaming for very long. But yeah.
All right. Oh, nice. Hello. What's up, Woo? How are you doing? Thanks for joining in. I'm about to start really soon. Uh, but let me grab some materials really fast. We're doing a mix of shaping today and folding and gritting, but not too much gritting. Hey! Hello, hello. Thanks for tuning into the stream, guys. Sorry, it's kind of unannounced. I've been doing a lot of impromptu streams recently, but it's always fun. Let me get these fuzzy guys out of the way so we don't get that on our model. But yeah, we're gonna do a couple things today. So what I'm gonna start with is Invention of the Crane, which you can see on screen. Um, and basically, because it's bigger, I'm gonna be using a little bit of wire just to reinforce it. Um, otherwise, over time, the box is going to sag, and so are the arms. So we're just going to help ourselves out a little bit. With just a little bit of wire, um, not a whole lot. But yeah, um, it'll give it a little bit of weight. Uh, but maybe I can turn it this way a little bit, and you guys can kind of see what's going on. There you go. That's pretty cool. But let's try this out. But yeah, guys, we have some nice commands. So if you want to know what I'm folding or whatnot throughout time, feel free to type exclamation mark commands. And then you can view some of the fun stuff that you guys can do. Uh, I believe even you guys can like start polls and stuff. So should be pretty fun. A little bit of an interactive kind of thing with the chat. Oh, cool. Thank you, AZ and Dumplin' for the uptime. Very cool. Uh, on YouTube, it's a little bit slower, so you just gotta wait for the bot to come up, but it'll get to you, it'll get to you. All right, so you might be able to see, we have this box right now, and we haven't like glued it down yet. Um, so I'm gonna do this one first. Um, and I'm just putting these at the bottom just to reinforce the bottom a little bit and they won't be too Evident when we Finish gluing it hopefully so I just got to make sure these are pretty straight All right like that that looks pretty good but Yeah, we're gonna be using glue for shape this model, but yeah, I don't think I actually streamed uh, when I made the first one. So this might be kind of interesting to see the process a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I'm already, I am already collapsed the entire thing, but I've done very little shaping so far. But yeah, but we're going to get these guys locked down. And basically, while it dries, uh, we can work on something else. Boys, do continue to make dope and complex origami tutorials. They're the coolest. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy them. And I think that is definitely like a specialty of the channel um, where it's a complex tutorial that's my own design, um, not someone else's design. So yeah, no, for sure. I'll keep doing those. I want to find a way to do the origami BMW, um, but I'm still kind of thinking on how to execute that it might not be a whole series like the dragon knight um just so that i can push it out faster because they do take a really long time to make but yeah i'm glad you enjoy them uh hearing that makes me want to continue doing more and more so thank you for the feedback very appreciated all right we got to make sure everything is lined up properly There we go. All 
you don't want to mess up the this part because then it's a little bit harder to undo but I think we can do all three sides at the same time at least we're going to try to uh, yeah that way the box looks really like the gravity of it looks correct is is why we're supporting it in this way But yeah, what other of my designs do you think you'd want a tutorial for? Um, some of them aren't possible to do tutorials for just because they're a little bit too complex. Or when I mean not possible, it would take like two, or it wouldn't be good. So the ones who would use the tutorial wouldn't be able to understand a whole lot, which kind of defeats the purpose of a tutorial if I'm basically just telling people to look at the crease pattern, if you know what I mean. Um, I didn't push this all the way down. Oh, is it locked right there? I guess it's locked right there. I think we can undo these ones. But yeah, something interesting about this design that I didn't actually put the like um, the arms on the crease pattern because the hinges would be, it was just too much to kind of add at the time. Um, but it's a uh, level shifters, which are kind of interesting. A hawk or an eagle with scales. Ooh, I've always wanted to do a bird. Um, scales would be pretty cool to do with it. Yeah, if you look at the arms on the inside, they're double-sided, so it gives us the sleeve some dimension. So I'm going to try to do something a little bit fancy with that, if we can, if possible. But let's finish up this side. Um, the other thing is I wanted to experiment with either uni-axial box plating or um, tilted grid. So like a tilted grid eagle would be kind of cool. I don't think that'd be too difficult. It's probably, it's not the most ideal thing for tilted grid, but so maybe a uni axial, but it, it might be. I don't know if I could do add scales to it though. That might be a little bit hard, but we can try. What's up, Mr. Woof? Thanks for joining in. Cool model, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, forget the actual structure. So this one I can put at the bottom. Yeah, at least the structure of this one I'm very proud of because of the asymmetry. So it makes it very interesting both to look at and to fold. Um, which is kind of why I'm making another one for myself. Uh, I sold the first one because someone was really interested in buying it. Uh, but for to display at conventions and just for myself, I wanted another one. So that's why we're refolding this model. Um, the first one you can see is spinning around at the bottom of the screen. Um, but that one was made actually, it was originally supposed to be a test fold that I ended up just completing. Um, so that's a 50 centimeter square. This one's a lot bigger. This is a 74 centimeter square. It's pretty cool. So what we want is to put pressure on this part, but not the wire. That way it can dry being held in place properly. Like this. There you go, you can kind of see the box. So you can see the crane for sure. Like that's very obvious. How big, oh yeah, the, this paper was 74 centimeters. Um, 
right now it's very it, it shrunk a little bit but it's, it's not too small it's actually when it's done it'll be pretty okay like this crane it's not like a small crane by any means like you could you know use like a seven centimeter square and make a crane and it'd be about this size i think you're a genius folder thank you thank you very kind but yeah right now the model's turned so you can see it's like that but when we finish it it'll be facing the box and one of my favorite parts about this is the way this works is this part actually is a whole edge of the model right so normally it's off to the side but I put an Elias stretch here so that it and at the perfect grid length that it can go on top like that pretty neat huh I think it was kind of creative at least okay we're gonna do one more wire and that's for the back side just to help support it a little bit hello easy origami with ag hello greetings thanks for joining the stream But yeah, once this starts to dry a little bit, we're going to work on another model. And then um, if you guys were here last stream, you know that I was working on the Ancient Dragon by uh, Satoshi Kamiya. And so we've made quite a lot of progress on that one. As you can see, it's right here. Uh, so we might continue that. People like you keep origami alive. Keep going, man. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to more tutorials. Thanks. That means a lot, dude. Um, I really hope I can make a positive impact in the community. Um, that's definitely the goal. I, I enjoy it a lot. It's it's given me a lot, and I wish to be able to use my skills to give back. Okay, so these are live stretches here, so I can't actually do the regular insertion of this. I'm going to bend it. Oh, it actually stands. I didn't realize it was <laughs> standing straight up like that for a second. I thought I was resting on something. But yeah, this past weekend was the Origami USA convention. Um, so whenever there's a convention, even if it's online, I always feel very inspired afterwards. And I end up learning a lot, both from talking with people and just seeing people and this past one uh, my favorite class was plant psychologist tilted grid class and it was his puppy which I've actually folded before so it was less about the model but he gave a lecture afterwards about tilted grid and a little bit about uni axial box pleating because it helps explain tilted grid a bit um, and oh man I was so inspired so I really want to play around with some of those concepts as well as a theorem by Robert Lang that he mentioned. Uh, so hopefully you guys will see some cool designs coming out pretty soon. I have a lot of ideas. Uh, it's more about how much time do I have to implement those ideas. But yeah, ooh, up time. okay, 19 minutes, cool. So right now it's kind of drying. I, I was going to do the arms, but I think we should wait just a little bit for this to solidify. That way I can stand properly, because if I add clamps, it's going to drag the weight down. So we're gonna leave it like this for now. That way, hopefully everything dries very evenly. And yeah, so that's progress on Invention of the Crane so far. Right now the top just looks like a big jumble of flaps, but I'm pretty sure you can, they're, they're like the crane is very, I, I like the crane on this one more than the original. I made the structure a lot cleaner for the color change. So let's see if we can get this to zoom or focus. And so that's kind of the edge, but when we display it with the wing down, you won't see that little transition part, which is kind of cool. Do I use Orihime or Oripa? I use, I used to use Oripa a lot. I think I mostly use Orihime now because I know how to do everything I used to do in Oripa 
in Orihime, and I've made myself some custom shortcuts using under Trox's Orihime mod. Um, and it makes it a lot faster for me, so I don't have to click as much, um, which makes my wrist feel a lot better. Uh, my wrist sometimes hurts from clicking so much in Ariba. But in Orihime, you drag. So it's a little bit, you drag and release, which I kind of like. But for example, the button to change like from a mountain to a valley line, I bound it to like my number two on the keyboard. And then there's the default line, which is L and an M and V for mountain valley. So like I can be drawing and just sliding. Press L if I want valley, I switch V, M for mountain. And if I mess up, I just press two and then I click the line and it's really fast. If I want to move the crease pie around, I have I push six. If I want to draw in all the crease pattern lines, I press like four. So I, it's it's very nice, Orihime. Uh, and pretty soon, since it's an open canvas, I might be using it as a notebook, as I've watched plant psychologists do, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, so before we go Ancient Dragon, I think we'll end off with Ancient Dragon. But we're just going to continue this grid a little bit more. This is the third item. This is going to be the Assassin by, I think, uh, Vishwa, or... Vishwa R on um, Instagram. I'll show it really quick. And he's a very talented young folder that's been uh, making some really cool designs recently. So, and one that really interested me is this one. It's a very cool structure. I, I love how he packed it. It's very interesting. <laughs> Um, where the sword is from the back and it's not actually connected to the arm so it makes more efficient space uh, use of paper but he is like a student of the crease pattern class and a graduated student of the crease pattern class you could say so he went from learning to solve crease patterns into designing pretty fast and he's making some really cool stuff oh wait oh he's <laughs> there you go look at the timing <laughs> What's up? I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm, I apologize for pronouncing it wrong. Um, but yeah, so that's what this is. So it's based on a 40 grid, uh, which I believe right now we have 10. So we're gonna go to 20 and then we're, I, I'm doing it color black. Um, the, I was thinking of doing it the blue, but I think I'm gonna do it black to kind of make it more like night-ish and dark. Uh, but yeah, it's a 40 grid, so we got to divide this into a 20 grid, and then once more on the other side to make that accordion 40 grid. Pronounced correct. Awesome. But yeah, I'm very excited to fold this model. Like, really excited. So maybe next stream I'll collapse it, or I will already have collapsed it by next stream if I get too excited to fold it. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. Like a 40 grid for that much details. It's very, very cool. But we're going to be doing a little bit of gridding. We're not going to do too much gridding, just for a little bit. Um, we'll be keeping time with the new uptime command. Face it out, and then we're going to work on the Ancient Dragon version 2. So, yeah. Fun stuff. A lot of fun stuff. Big fan. Hey, look at that. You got some fans in here. But yeah, the 40 is nice. Like, I've folded um, Invention of the Crane is a 48 grid, but one quarter of it is just a 24 grid. Uh, so it's not quite a full 48 grid, but a 48 grid can take a fair amount of time to fold, but. A 40 grid, even though it doesn't seem like it's much smaller, there's, there's still quite a noticeable difference, at least in terms of folding. At least for me. Like, I feel like I did this 10 by 10 grid very quickly. And this 20 by 20 grid, I'm almost a quarter of the way done. It's been like three minutes. So a 40 grid is very appeasing. I think anything under a 40 grid is pretty okay and not very painful to do. Like it can be therapeutic or enjoyable. 
Going over 48, it gets a little bit time consuming and maybe a little bit too repetitive. But this design with just the 40 grid, very nice. <laughs> like part. So it has flaws. It's all good. Uh, I hope I can do style it up with some shaping because there's definitely like enough room on the legs uh, to, to have it be okay. So. Okay, sorry, I got a work email really quick. I thought I had a meeting right now, but it was a cancellation. So <laughs> I got scared for a second. But yeah, let me look at this, uh, look at the crease pattern just for reference really quick. Um, yeah, yeah, there's, there's plenty of room for the legs. So should be okay. I have some, I, some extra ideas to try, but we'll see. Yeah. The one part I also really like about this model is how you did the hair and the head. Because the proportions are really cool. Like, it looks like a really cool assassin, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not like a super generic kind of thing, but at the same time, the folding structure is like not hard to do either, which Great. Uh, I obviously I love complex things, but I always enjoy like the foldability level. So if the foldability is good, for me that's a, a positive for the model. You know, if the model is like nearly impossible to fold or extremely painful to fold, that's for me that kind of detracts some value. At least for me wanting to fold it, like. Obviously, when someone else folds it and it turns out, it's like absolutely amazing. But when I want to fold something, um, maybe it's because uh, I don't have all the time in the world to fold. <laughs> but uh, things like maybe the Japanese Spiny Lobster by Kota, it looks like, you know, fun to do, but I definitely don't have the time to do something like that. So there's a low chance of me folding it. But something like this. That can get done in maybe, you know, five, six hours, maybe up to eight hours, or even up to ten hours. That's very appealing. Very appealing and fun. Skyhawk64 Bush streams on both YouTube and Twitch. Oh, that's Dumplin responding to Skyhawk. Did I miss something? Oh, Larry. Oh, what's up? Sorry, guys. Chat's going a little fast there, and I was talking. I do stream on both Twitch and YouTube now. That is correct. Carry on. I got to go. I have some work to do. Awesome. I'll continue to talk to you over Instagram. But thanks for stopping by. Great seeing you. Hey, Larry's on both. What's up, Larry? What's up, Sam? How is uh, the LA life treating you guys? Uh, but yeah, kind of what I was saying about the 40 grid. Like, look, we're already halfway done with the 20 by 20 part and then the last division is all at least for me is like the most fun because you accordion pleats which for me is very satisfying the part i don't like as much in folding and grids is this part where you're doing the divisions like this because at least for me like i have to like look at the line and make sure it's all lined up but when you do the other one you just fold and fold and fold this Kind of fun. Uh, may I ask what model this is? Hello, Alejandro. This is the Assassin by Vishwa. On it's uh, Vishwa R on Instagram. Uh, he just left, sadly, but the designer was here. He's got some very cool designs. Um, obviously, this is just a grid so far, but we in the beginning of the stream. So we're doing three things today. In the beginning of the stream, we were shaping the invention of the crane model, which you can see on the bottom corner uh, that's spinning. So that's the first thing we were working on. And then now it's drying a little bit. So we are working on the grid while it dries. And then after the grid, we're going to transition to our third thing that we're working on, 
which is this guy. <laughs> Lots of food, great time. Yeah, man, sushi stop. Oh, I long for sushi stop. It's any time in L when I go to LA. Ever since like the first time I had sushi stop, when I go to LA now, I have to have sushi stop. Uh, next time you guys go, send me a, do me a favor, get yourself a blue crab hand roll and send me a picture. Well, let's see. It. Boys, do you think you can make a tutorial on origami design? Like tips on origami design. Um, honestly, I I could a little bit, but it wouldn't be very good uh, because I don't fully understand how. Like I fully I can't visualize entirely yet on proper packing and efficiency and stuff like that, and, or other concepts like Pythagoras stretches. Um, uh, mostly because the way I design, I like to have a paper in front of me and just test test away. I'm slowly learning those though, but someone who already has that knowledge is plant psychologist. So if you go to the plant psychologist YouTube channel, um, and I, I kind of like to think it's a good pairing where you watch my crease pattern classes to start introducing yourself to folding crease patterns, and then you go to plant psychologist's design class to really deep dive into crease patterns and then box pleat design. Uh, and even if you don't design anything yet, that's like the advanced crease pattern course, I would say. Because he talks about more advanced units and he explains it well. So um, I think it'd be a little bit redundant for me to make a tutorial for that. And instead I'll just refer you to that tutorial because I think he did a really good job on it, and he's even got a entire Discord server dedicated to learning how to design. So, great use resources, and I support his Discord as well. I'm helping boost this server <laughs> uh, on Discord. So yeah, go go give him some love. It's it's really good. I learn things from him all the time. He's a very he's a very talented young designer and. One of the real pioneers for the future of origami. Um, there's, there's plenty of talented folders out there, but Brandon is both able to improve himself and give to the community and provide for the community. Um, that's more than, you know, one could expect from such a young person. So definitely go check him out. What's the best paper for complex origami? Um, let me... So, I'll give you an answer here, but I'll also... Let me see if that works. I also want to refer you guys to my website. I hope the fold wheel. Oh, nice. Well, um, oh, there it is. Okay. Um, sorry, I lost my thought. Uh, or, okay, so paper. Yeah, check out my uh, website and go to resources. And then there's a paper, it'll bring you to a paper list of paper I recommend to all levels of origami from beginner to intermediate and to complex and it's not as much like your level as a folder but more about the level of the design so like i still use a lot of the beginner papers because they're fun to use for simpler designs i'm not going to use like a you know a five dollar sheet of paper for something really simple uh, but in terms of complex origami I think uh, there's a couple, there's not really like a single best one. It kind of depends on what you're folding. So, but in general, uh, there's things like Wen Joe rice paper. That's very, very good is it comes large. It has good handling properties um, and it's thin, relatively thin. If you want the absolute thinnest paper in the world for insects, origami dough is very good for insects. 
as acclaimed by Kamiya-san and Robert Lang. Um, if you want just some of the best feeling paper that can fold nearly any complex bottle, you can go with Ogami, which is very expensive, but it's just a great paper in general. And it's got really cool colors. Uh, and then for other things, you can use paper like what uh, Wook uses, uh, Hanji. And there's a couple different kinds of Hanji paper, but there's some really thin ones, thin and large ones that both have really good colors and great properties as well. Um, and Hanji will be what uh, will be similar to some of the things I used for, say, the Samurai, which is a mulberry paper. Um, I, I had a thing folded with Hanji earlier, but I don't have it anymore. I moved it uh, to display, so I can't give an example. But Hanji is very, very good to fold with. And if you guys have seen uh, Wook's folds on Instagram, you'll be like, yeah, I want to use that paper. It's really good. All right, so we have the grid here. So we're now going to transition to our third item, which is Ancient Dragon. Um, and it, while I start this, I'm going to put another disclaimer. This is not a tutorial. I'm just folding for fun on stream. And I have engineered this stream in a way where you cannot fold the ancient dragon from this watching the stream. And so I just want to make that clear <laughs> in case anyone's confused. But yeah, but it's for fun. So let's see what step I'm on. One thing I did with this uh, so far that I'll show you is I am, so I'm folding it from the new diagrams. But from the crease pattern, I am doing the belly pleats. So that's not in the diagrams. But if you were at the or at the convention, you will know how I did this, which is a pretty nice, just general way to do Yoshino pleats. Is what I like to call them. Because uh, Satoshi Kemya said that he got the inspiration from these from Issei Yoshino, I believe. But let's see what step we're on. We are on step 86, I think. So we're going to keep going for a little bit. I'll keep answering some questions. Oh, resources. Sorry, I used the wrong command. Thank you. Thank you, Susan, for getting that. But yeah, great, que great question about the paper. Great question. Yeah, yeah. See, Wook's done um, uh, Hanji. Um, Wook, do you want to? Or actually, I don't know if it'll let you. Um, but let me let me post your Instagram in case people don't know you, or don't know your Instagram. I think they should. So I will share your Instagram so people can see. Um, here you go. There you go. All right. So here's all the sections for the teeth. The pre-creasing for the teeth actually was not too uh, long. I thought it was going to be a lot more, but the diagrams had in a very nice sequence to do, so that it was only a couple steps. Very enjoyable. All right, so next one, so we're reconstructing this structure. Hey, what's up? Hi. You like origami too? Awesome. Thanks for joining the stream. We're doing some complex origami today. Uh, this is the, I'm working on the Ancient Dragon designed by Satoshi Kamiya. Uh, we did a couple things before in case you're confused by the stream title. Uh, but now we are working on this guy. It's actually a very fun C 
sequence. There's a lot of different parts to this model that make it complex, but very fun to hold. And I'm just going to make sure I'm doing this correctly. And then I guess it wants us to do these sync folds too in parallel. So it starts here. It starts as a mountain fold. Oh, I missed it. It's right here. So sometimes the downfall of using a white color paper is the creases blend in <laughs> a lot. So sometimes you, you lose track of them just a little bit. This is actually a very interesting step. Uh, I've been started to have been diagramming my own models. And there's some like three dimensional steps or steps that you do a lot of folds at once. They're just very hard to communicate um, well. But this one, it's a lot. But I understand. Like, I was able to perceive it very, very well. So it's a well-drawn step, I'd say. I've seen your stuff on Instagram. It's amazing. All my Ancient Dragon attempts have been less good than I would like. I'm going to blame on a paper. Um, and you might not be wrong. Uh, a lot of times, if you don't have the right paper for the model, it can drastically affect the result. So uh, that's a fair point, indeed, actually. Uh, that's Honestly, that kept me from folding this model for a long time because I didn't think I had the paper for it. Uh, and I, I definitely didn't, so yeah. Things like this model definitely take either extremely large or extremely thin paper, and a combination of both is preferable, I'd say. It's definitely not only the paper, <laughs> that's okay. Over practice over time, you're, you're gonna get it. But I, I commend you for attempting it. It's no easy, no simple feat, indeed. Uh, it's, it's called a super complex origami for a reason, for sure. So I'm just making sure that I have this crease lined up precisely. Uh, so that when I go to do the other side, I won't accidentally fold through paper that's not supposed to be. Favorite Satoshi Camera models? I'm looking for another one to fold soon. And I have all three books. Ooh. Um, honestly, the butterfly from the third book was really fun to do. Um, I haven't folded too much from that book. But if you want something that doesn't take as long, the penguin chick is really fun. Um, and then the, the dinosaur in that is really fun as well. Uh, another one that's fine, that's not too difficult, is this one, the Cyclomatis Metallifer. I think it's from number two. And I did this with regular origami paper, and then I just painted it. So it's very doable if you have, like, a, I think it was this was 10-inch paper. Um, very doable. Uh, yeah, I need to fold more from those books, too, because I have them, and... I just haven't folded <laughs> from them, but there's some really good stuff in there. Okay, we do the same on this side now. And then I think we pop that out. So, cool. Have you done loggerhead? I have not done that one. That one's a very cool one too. I haven't done a lot of turtles actually. I've only done a very simple one recently, and then I can't remember, or I did John, it was John Von Troll's turtle that was taught at the Origami Israel convention, and that was pretty fun. I've never done like a really complex one. The paper is so good. Thank you, I made this double tissue myself. I've been getting slowly better at it. I'm not the best at making this kind of paper. <laughs> so sometimes it doesn't turn out that great, but this one turned out pretty good. Okay, now I'm looking for my crease, which I think it's here. But if you want to know this exact paper, I think it only ships in America, sadly, but I have it linked. In my on my website. 
uh, in the methylcellulose kit section. So if you're curious where I got this from, you can check that out. Wait, did I do this wrong? Oh, it's just like this, okay. Sorry, I'm looking for my crease. Can't find it. <laughs> I think that's the right one right here, but this collapses in like this. And then, uh, is it this one? Oh, okay, it's this one. There you go. I was like, where did it go? I was like, I know it's somewhere around here. T-Spin, what's up? Hello. Um, easy origami. Have you seen single tissue for stag beetle? 39 centimeters. And pre-creasing is really bad. Each square is like half a centimeter. Now collapsing feels like the paper is too thin. I'm stuck on collapsing. Ooh. Single tissue is really hard. Because uh, the, the more you work on it, sometimes it gets weak. And then it's really hard to fold with. Um... Yeah, you want to be very careful. I don't know if you should restart or anything, but... Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a tough one to use. Um, did you go to Israel for it? No, it was online. Sorry. Um, what's up, Amazing Origami? Thanks for joining the stream. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, when it's very, very small like that, like... Basically, when you start that model, you'll have to already be just very careful handling it. Uh, if you can get your hands on some tweezers, then maybe you can work the paper slowly into collapsing it. Because once it's collapsed, the shaping will be really, like, relatively easy to do with single tissue because it's so thin. It's just, like, collapsing all the bits will be difficult. I guess I also recommend to collapse it from the middle first. Because if you collapse it from the edges first, it's going to be nearly impossible to do the middle. I spent most of my day working in 100 plus degree weather. That is rough, my friend. That is hard. It is very hot where I am, too. It's about average 107, I think. But thankfully, I am able to work inside. So I apologize for you having to work outside. That sounds really, really difficult. Fried Alive. I'm realizing you're streaming on YouTube and Twitch. True. What is that paper? All right. Am I in Seattle? No, I'm in uh, I'm in Arizona. It's always hot. <laughs> um, Seattle and Oregon are really warm right now, though. Uh, I saw the heat wave news. Um, what is the paper? It's just double tissue. It's just really crispy double tissue. Where I started, I put methyl cellulose on the surface first and then treated it. Which I used to not do, uh, but doing that makes the paper a lot crispier. Which I think you guys can hear pretty <laughs> pretty well. Alright, so we got this. Remember the first time I folded the Ancient Dragon, it was still a little bit a challenge for me. And so I remember this step where it was very hard for me to get it done or to understand what was going on. But uh, it's a lot easier now. It's kind of cool to look back. Is that whole man double tissue? It is. It's uh, 
Specifically, the tissue used is a Linico archival tissue, which allows it to be 74 centimeters long. So it's, I just made a 70, it's basically a, or it starts at 75 centimeters and I just cut off a centimeter uh, when I cut into a square. So yeah, so it ends up being 74 centimeters. Uh, just why it's kind of a weird measurement. I'm in New York and it's hot here too. Oh yeah, crazy, originally from Texas. I don't know what's worse. New York, I've been in New York in the summers and it's, cause it's like this. Uh, and you're in New York City, so yeah, especially like the humidity, that's that's, that's a lot. Uh, Arizona's a, just a dry heat, and I, parts of Texas are humid as well, but parts of it are dry. Janessa, hey, what's up? You have the samurai emote, so that does that mean you subscribed? So it looks like my service doesn't give me alerts, so let me look at the Twitch stream manager really quick. Hey, okay. Thank you, Janessa, for the prime sub. And thank you, Skyhawk634, for cheering for five bits. Um, means a lot, guys. Really means a lot. Thank you so much. But, hey, what's up? Look at that samurai emote. Isn't that cool? If you guys have everyone's on Prime and you want to use that emote, feel free to go for it. Uh, what's my best model? Um, that's a good question. Not too... Honestly, I think it's the one that's spinning. <laughs> Right there. That one was pretty good. Uh, maybe my next best is my Samurai, and then maybe my Dragon Knight, which the better Dragon Knight I don't have to show you, but you saw my Instagram recently. Uh, but for the sake of it, you guys have seen this a lot of times. But um, This one's also pretty cool, except I think the concept's a little confusing. It didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to like emotionally but at least it's like the concept is cool kind of but uh once i'm done with this one i think it'll be my best one so that's why i'm really excited to fold it that is a dope emo indeed thank you what about reugen oh yeah well, I mean, I was guess I was talking about my designs, but folded, sure. That's that's by far the best thing I folded. And what was the size of the paper? This was eighty-eight centimeters. I'll give you guys a little tour. Shape scales. Normally, reusions with under one meter paper don't have shape scales but because of my friend Levin who's done shape scales from 50 centimeters uh, inspired me to like hey okay 88 centimeters is totally possible to shape scales not too bad but it's it's pretty small I mean maybe in my hand it still looks kind of big but like uh, I don't know like a cell phone right so each each scale is very very small like if you were to use a tweezer, which I did use tweezers to help me shape the scales, but for the most part, I used my hands to fold them. If this will focus properly. Another frustrating thing about white paper is cameras don't understand that what it's looking at sometimes. Okay, well, they're really small. I don't know if that helps, but why do I use metrics in a uh, measure metrics instead of US? It's because a lot of paper is international and a lot of the designs are made from say Japan, Korea, Europe. Um, like it's very international. It's a very international and internationally connected uh, community. So at least for paper, uh, grams per square meter is normally what we use and then paper sold by like origami shop which is the biggest online probably biggest online origami paper store origami wise is based in france so all that is in metrics um is otherwise you get weird things like oh this paper's you know 11.75 inches or whatever so you know so but every, it's like 50 centimeter paper 25 centimeter paper one meter size paper it makes it a little bit easier i think to understand 
and also the america the u.s version of thickness which is pounds doesn't make sense much like what what's the pound of the paper you know i, I don't know it's hard for me to visualize versus like grams per square meter i don't know for some reason that makes more sense because i have no idea i don't know um levin's fully for yeah levin's crazy man he's uh he's something else there he and leaving him never ceases to impress with what he tries but uh yeah reusion pretty fun once it's done folded uh being folded oh snap a gifted sub to jared ori holic thank you thank you for the one month tier one sub i'm guessing uh transitioning out of gather into <laughs> some live streaming but let's go thank you so much why do some papers come in rectangles um that's a good question maybe it's just how they're cut or since most papers are in book bounds they do rectangles as the standardization like you think about the first printing press i don't think the press was square paper i think it was rectangular uh i'm sure there's a good reason for it but not too sure um Maybe it's easier to have a rectangle shaped uh, pulp thing, like when you make the paper too. Uh, but the concept of using squares for complex origami is much more recent than just paper in general, paper printing, paper making. So not too sure there. <laughs> Okay, what is it telling me to do here? Is to pull this out, I think. There's a lot going on here, so I can't exactly tell, but oh yes, it is this. And what's your favorite movie? Um since I'm starting the origami right now, maybe I'm obliged to say uh, Kubo in the two strings, as well as someone who helped work on advertising uh, display for that movie is also in the chat right now. So maybe, maybe I'll say that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Kubo is a great movie. Um, I really like Inception. That's a great movie too. Pulp Fiction is a good movie as well. It's kind of different, but... Origami shop is French. Yes, it is French. How did you learn? I want to try to make it someday. Uh, Ryujin, uh, at first I was being very prideful and wanted to do it for crease pattern. But then I was like, you know what? Might as well use Daniel Brown's Ryujin guide uh, because he made it. And I don't know. Why not? You know, <laughs> so I used his Ryujin guide um, just to kind of see the ordering of how to do things and the head. Um, I practiced the Chernogen from the crease pattern in the past, as you may have seen. Uh, so I, I guess I knew how to do the head from crease pattern, but it was so much cleaner and easier to do it with the guide than uh, without it. So shout out to, to Daniel Brown for that, because it probably helped make the region a lot cleaner, especially since I was using such a small um, paper. Very beneficial. Okay, am I supposed to do both of these at the same time? I don't think so. It's just like a, a weird squash fold for some reason here. And the paper creep is getting me a little bit here, so we're gonna try to make that clean as possible. Where do you get your origami designs from? Um, like, how do I make them? Or where am I folding? Right now, I am folding from a book. Um, but to make it easier on stream, I I just took pictures of the steps, uh, so I can so I can zoom in. 
All right, well, we are going to... Oh, this is a sync fold. All right, we're going to do the sync fold. And then we're going to call stream there. I know it's a very short stream, but we didn't have too much time. Um, just wanted to get a couple things done, but I think it was a very productive stream. We did three... We worked on three things, three projects, all within an hour. Uh, so this sync fold will be the final sync fold for this stream. Um, and I'm, I'm glad a lot of people were able to show up and say hi, including the designer for one of the ones we worked on earlier. But yeah, feel free to ask a couple more questions and I'll, I'll answer them as I work on the sync fold. And then we will head out. Um, my goal for now is to do one stream a week and I have no set schedule, unfortunately, yet, <laughs> but it'll happen, you know, on occasion. So I guess the best way to keep track is definitely uh, continue to keep, stay on track with like my Instagram and I'll, I'll be posting there whenever I stream, but I think YouTube is also pretty good because they give you notifications. But in terms of days, I think Tuesdays have been working out pretty well. And then we're going to try for Fridays, but Fridays don't always work. Stay safe, boys. Thank you. I will. Oh, has folding origami ever gotten you a date? Um, It's gotten me a girlfriend, actually, I'd say. So I think it's working pretty well. <laughs> okay, I'm not sh I think I close sync just this corner if I remember properly. Story time, please. Okay, well, I met this this girl and it, I guess it led to us dating, but um, on introduction, I kind of shared I did origami. And she was like, "Oh, you know, I used to, you know, fold origami when I was young too." I was like, "Oh, you know, that's really cool." And you're like, uh, and then, uh, you know, showed her the Instagram and she's like, oh, that's not just doing origami. That's crazy. You know, so that was definitely, uh, maybe piqued the interest a little bit and who knows, maybe that was the deciding factor. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, she's she folds at conventions occasionally, and she's actually very very good, um, able to take all the complex classes and whatnot. Even though she doesn't fold as much as I do, still very 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 good. This open sink is quite involved, so I hope I'm doing it correctly, and I'm on the wrong crease right now, so. Do you have any of her folds? Um, so recently, if you guys were at the Origami USA convention, there is this walrus uh, folded by Robert Crash. He actually was able to fold that walrus, which is not an easy one. Sadly, I don't have it on me. Uh, she also folded that fold space, so there is a Andrew Hudson this is designed this dog that's not like easy. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, okay, so here's something she folded. There's a, right? But it's like, it's folded really well. You know what I mean? Like that's a, it's not not the most simple structure, but very well done. And kind of lost where the exact crease is supposed to be for this sinkhole. But something like this, right? I don't want to mush this. I'm gonna undo this sink full and look at where my creases are. It's like this this one corner where part of it is already closed that I wanna make sure I get right. So 
this might be like a partial closed sink, open sink kind of deal. But yeah, there you go. So sometimes instead of trying to force the fold, you just want to do it and check a little bit uh, before you regret it. So I think I, okay, so I do this sink fold at when I unfold this bottom corner. I was trying to close sink it with the entire thing. And then I think I can close sink through this corner so I don't have to worry about it because this is just to thin out the leg and I don't think it actually becomes a part of the leg so we're gonna close sink it instead of try to open sink it and if we need to open sink it later I'll try to remember that we close sink it At least it fits a little bit better. And if I remember correctly, the reason why this part is opened back up is because it partially crosses when you do the next sink fold. Um, so it creates a small overlap, which again, it doesn't do a whole lot. It's just an overlapping sink fold. But yeah, as you can see, just undoing it to visualize the crease a little bit made that sink fold way easier. Now we got it all done in like way less time than what I was trying to do. Personally, I think the Samurai is your best design so far. Thank you. How many designs do I have? Um, good question. Maybe 20? I can't exactly count. I should keep track. There's quite a few on my website that I've listed, but that's not all of them. Uh, actually, so if you go to my website and go to the gallery, I believe those are all of my designs. And, or they're all my design, but I don't, I haven't updated it entirely yet. So if I do a quick count, oh, there's also repeats. So, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and then new one, 25. So maybe around 25 to 30 new design, or third designs in total, uh, but great question. All right, so we finished that sync fold for that's just about it for this stream, but yeah. So I know it was kind of short and I know some people have joined in recently, but we are about done and we'll come back either, probably next week either, or maybe sometime later this week, uh, but it'll be pretty spontaneous, but Thank you everyone for tuning in and for all the great questions, the kind compliments, and just for watching in general. And I hope to see you guys in the next stream. What's up, Nathan Gabechko? Uh, <laughs> I see you there. And then thank you for the new follows today and for those prime subs, Janessa. And I'll see you guys next time.